Hello, welcome to Just Bird. Today's reading is a pick a pile reading and we're going to try to find out who is your soulmate. So let me pick your card here for pile one, two, and three and you can decide which pile is best suited for you, which one you are most intuitively drawn to. I will leave chapters so you won't have to Try to find the reading you just click the buttons to chapter one chapter two or chapter three pile one two or three and take you right to your reading so are you drawn to pile one which is family power of a three you think in divine time um holding hands Power of 17, making advancements. Or pile number three, the smell after rain. Power of a six, speaking about balance. So you go ahead and take a moment to choose your pile. All right, set these aside and we're going to start with pile number one. So your soulmate may be introduced to you by a family member or they are just family oriented by nature. They could come from a larger family. Family could be a great priority for them. So let's just keep moving along. Pile number one. Let's see who is pile number one's soulmate. And we're going to get into it, see if we can figure out a timeline of when you may be meeting this person. Tell me about this person that's coming in for pile number one. They could work at a barista. They could be younger, may, maybe in their 20s. Let's see, they, you could meet this person at the beginning of winter and it is the beginning of winter right now. They may fall under the sign of Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn or embody those characteristics. If, you, if it is a Taurus, they are persistent, dependable, loyal and powerful people. If it is a Virgo, they are faithful, practical, and innocent by nature, and intelligent as well. And if you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're very cautious, they're workhorses, they are well-organized and steadfast. They're reliable individuals. So let's see. Like I said, they could work at the coffee. Maybe you're going to meet them at a coffee shop. Let's see. Five of Swords, they have been hurt. Maybe they they have um, they could be a fighter, you know, like MMA or something like that. They are witty and intelligent by nature, but they they are a bit scorned and argumentative. They have conflict in their life. Let's see. It could be a person who likes to debate as well we have the three of cups again this could be a reconciliation for you this could be going to a community event maybe a community event with family and friends and that could be another celebration card there that maybe you're meeting them at somebody's birthday party or um any kind of event right um but those three cups, it could be a reconciliation. This is a person that enjoys being out. They are social. Let's see, pile number one. Pile number one. They've, they have ended a relationship. Um, it could have been a job. Maybe they recently ended a job. 
This is also a person that could work in the medical field or recently had like a procedure uh, with the swords card there. Maybe they had an operation of sorts. This could also be someone who recently had a child. Um, four of cups energy. Okay, they, they get bored quickly and easily. You may meet them outside. You may have received a gift from them this past holiday. So this is somebody that maybe you already know. Um, if you've addressed this person, if this is a reconciliation, maybe you wanted to get back together in the past and or vice versa. Maybe they wanted to get back together. Whoever did not, they rejected the offer at that time but you, they may be coming forward now to reconcile with you after a finalization of an ending of a relationship. Let's see, could fall under the sign of Scorpio. The moon, we also have Pisces energy. So this is somebody who keeps their emotions to themselves. They're highly intuitive by nature, um, but in they also hide, they, Feel like they've been hiding their feelings for you this feels like it may be a reconciliation and they have been just ignoring you right as of late or you ignoring them and keeping your your emotions and your feelings to yourself so let's see if we can get anything else that you could tell me about this person Tell me about this person. You could meet them at nighttime. Maybe you meeting up at night. Let's see. They could fall under the sign of cancer as well. Um, six of wands. Okay, so if you two do meet up, it will be successful. This is somebody who maybe recently um, earned a promotion on the job you could work with this person um, they're receiving some accolades uh, let's see tell me the energy of the person that's coming toward pile number one tell me the energy of the person coming toward pile number one true companions who are true to each other. So this time around, if it's a reconciliation, this could also be a friend um, that you've known for some time and maybe they've been ignoring you or ignoring advancements, vice versa, okay? But this time around, it's it'll stick and stay. This is a companion. This It feels like this is somebody that you already know and it does feel like a reconciliation. I'm just going to grab some time cards to see if we can get some significant dates of when this soulmate energy is coming in for pile number one. Give me some information for pile number one's soulmate. This is going to be a relationship that actually can last this time around. Um, maybe you'll go out for coffee. Maybe that'll be the initial um, conversation. Maybe things will spark up over some coffee or at work. Let's see. You could meet this person at a work event, maybe where somebody is being promoted or honored for a job well done at work. Let's see. Right. We'll take these. Could have met them in September or maybe they are coming in during the month of September and it is the sign of Taurus as predicted up above. All right, again, they are very, you know, dependable, loyal, family-oriented people. As you have the family card here, everything in divine time. Um, but what we have is they are a true companion. All right, I'm going to pull one more from this deck. See if there's anything else that's coming in for pile number one and their soulmate. 
during the day. I said maybe you would meet them at night and this is saying nope, it's during the day. So maybe there is something, maybe at work, maybe at a restaurant, maybe at the coffee house, um, a gathering with family and friends, some form of celebration. And that's what I have for you and your soulmate energy pile number one. Please consider to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Bye. Oh. Okay, pile number two. If you chose holding hands, very warm energy there. This would be somebody who who likes to hold your hand in public. They could be a little bit older than you or vice versa. They could be a little bit younger than you, but this is a mature person um, that likes to hold hands. They are, they like to be comforted and they like to comfort others. So let's see. This could be someone that you already know that you are progressing with. Maybe this is someone um, that's been a friend for a while. Maybe you're even dating this person. Let's see. There's a lot of sweetness with those flowers there. Let's see. Eight of Wands in the reverse. So this could be somebody that doesn't communicate very well. They may be slowed down. This could be someone that you've met online and maybe the communication has halted. Um, this could be somebody who travels. Let's see. Tell me more about pile number two and their soulmate that's coming in for them. You could met this person at a dart league, <laughs> you know. Maybe, maybe the league has ended and the communication um, stopped as well. Like, you know how they have at, at bars and pubs. Uh, it doesn't have to be darts. It could be a pool league or something like that. Uh, but some kind of function where, game, you know, games. Maybe it's baseball, softball, if you belong to any kind of league. Or maybe you met someone on a field somewhere whatever let's see and when the league ends so does the communication maybe that's what why they're not traveling anymore let's see we oh this is going to be a relationship oriented and soulmate card coming right out for you um this looks like you like to loosen up a little with a drink and it looks like they are having coffee. <laughs> so this could be a sober person, someone that doesn't, um, doesn't really like to drink. Let's see. Tell me more about pile number two and their soulmate that's coming in, showing right up. Let's see person that you could have had a relationship with or just interested in having a relationship with, but they are relationship oriented. Four of once, as I say that it's the relationship card, right? Um, feels like you are already in a relationship with this person and let's see, they enjoy your company. They are, they have a it's somebody that you're building a foundation with or will be soon. And it is this soulmate. They are interested in having a relationship. Could be somebody that you are not communicating with right now. It could be because they cannot come towards you. Maybe they are at a distance from you. Let's see. Or maybe you've been talking and things, but the communication has slowed down and halted a bit. And maybe you're curious, like, is are they really my soulmate? <laughs> You could have met this person at work. Let's see. We have the magician. So this is somebody who's trying to manifest communication. Um, they could work on, like I said, they could work online. They could have, be in the lines of communication. They may be a live streamer themselves. Um, maybe they 
are on Twitch or YouTube or something like that, but they could be a streamer. They really are trying, they would like to create a relationship and a strong foundation with you. We have the Emperor Aries. This is the one, this is like, you know, divine masculine showing up here that would like a relationship. And it seems that you've been manifesting this into your life, even though uh, uh, the communication may have halted if you already know this person. Things just slowed down, right? Maybe it was hot and heavy in the beginning and now it's just kind of at ease and, and slowing down. This is still your soulmate energy. Um, could fall under the sign of Aries and they are very, you know, direct and passionate powerhouses. This could be a boss. They could be a boss. They may be your boss. As I said, you could have met them at work. <laughs> maybe they're your, maybe you work under them. Um, let's see. Aries are very, um, powerful, right? The boss energy very courageous and direct by nature. They like they're in complete control of their of their lives. They they are they could be a little bit arrogant, but it's because they are really good at what they do. As a highly intelligent person, they may be a smoker. One more here. Knight of Wands, fire energy, Aries, Leo or Sad. So if you're dealing with a Leo, they're very brave and courageous and um, vivacious by nature. And if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they are very like, um, you know, they keep an open mind. They're optimistic. They're versatile and they have high moral standards. This is person like, again, I believe that they do work online in some way, shape or form. And they spend a lot of time in front of a computer. They may have a great love for horses. Maybe um, you have gone horseback riding with them. Give me one more on, on this night. This is an offer. This is somebody that is very passionate. And they could be inconsistent with the, the communication. And that could be because they've been spending a lot of time at work. Still your soulmate though. And like I said, this could be someone that has um, recently had a child or something or maybe they are a father maybe they were introduced by a father they could just be older and more mature that's all a more mature person here let's see Pull one more on that night look emperor empress energy divine union here soulmate energy relationship soulmate relationship Divine masculine, divine feminine, and as I said, they may they may want to have children. They are family oriented, um, and they are ready. They are also very um, loyal, honest. This is about expansion and growth. It could fall under the sign of Taurus or Libra. Now, Taurus again, they are family oriented. They they are grounded and persistent, dependable, um, by nature, but Libras are very charming and intellectual. They're fair, they're, and sincere. Okay. In their, in their stance, they're all about balance and integrity. It seems like this person has been waiting to have a conversation about a family, about actually, um, having a family. All right. Let's see if I can get what is the energy of the person of pile number two soulmate? What is the energy surrounding pile number two soulmate? It's the energy surrounding pile number two's soulmate. They're very much in control. That's why they're not drinking, right? Like they don't even they don't even want to have a drink and be out of control. But you're like, oh, I like to have a sip or two every now and then. So, you know, and let's see, could be either either way. Flip off it. Time to meditate. Like I said, you've been manifesting this person, but this person has been manifesting you as well into their lives. They could you could have met them at a meditation. Maybe they come to you um, through meditation. Maybe uh, that's how 
you could uh, like telepathy and be receiving messages through the form of meditation you know that this person's been coming in um you know that you have been uh, manifesting this person into your life if you haven't already they want to grow and expand and really get rooted with you could possibly be considering marriage at some point with the empress and the emperor there and because this is a person that is family they they're all about family relationship and long-term energy so let's see the very intelligent person that has a lot of great ideas um they they could be an accountant or like i said they could really be a live streamer as well um they uh, they have great appreciation for simple things um when they're not driven they're just really driven uh in their careers it's had a household energy here so let's see can i get some significant times of when this soulmate may be coming in if they haven't already just significant times of to come we've got wasting your time i feel like that's where you're at like feeling like you've been wasting your time with this person because of the lack of communication or maybe that somebody has pulled away from the connection at this time and you're feeling like you have wasted your time. And time can surprise you. So see, something's coming in for you. Time can surprise you and it is all about the timing, but this person is coming in for you and you think that like your um, the time that you've spent in in meditation and manifesting this person you feel like you have just wasted your time and energy on that but the surprise is coming so there's this person may surprise you let's see independence day that's the fourth of july so uh, if you have if you're from a different country or something maybe your independence day is different but what do we have? We have the rose there and that symbolizes faith and beauty and beginnings. So it seems like during the beginning of July, which is the 4th of July, um, something significant is going to come in for you. You're going to have a, be surprised by this person. It could be a surprise proposal. It could be a surprise date, gift, anything. And if you've been, um, it could be a surprise conversation that's coming up for you. Let's pull one more. For the soulmate, you know, this is a very sensitive individual. They are, you know, they are truth tellers. We've got red, white, and blue. That is about honor and um, unity, right? Dealing with the throat chakra with the blue there. But we have the red as well that they are, they do take action because we have the power of the emperor there. They are action motivated they they have drive and ambition but also filled with passion and sexuality and a lot of strength of character with this person so they could also be a little bit like hard-headed but that's okay too it's just because they're really intelligent and their their ambition uh to get far in life is really high they're they're just really motivated individual and you could have been thinking like i've wasted my time on this person because they're a little bit inconsistent right now as far as the communication or the connection and they're going to surprise you it's all about a matter of time as you feel you've wasted time but then we have time will surprise so time timing is an issue here but it's a good time, <laughs> right? So let's see. Um, springtime. Maybe you met them in the spring or maybe they're, you're going to meet them in the spring and then there's a, some kind of surprise coming in by um, the beginning of July. So that's what I have for you. Um, let, let me just clarify with the purple flowers here. This is about power and psychic abilities and spirituality as well as um, clarity and the crown chakra. So it looks like the manifestation, it is, it's definitely coming in, 
but I feel that you have already telepathically in some way, shape, or form, whether it's through your dream state or meditative states, lucid dreaming or something, where you have been telepathically communicating with this person, drawing them towards you, and vice versa. So that's what I have for you with significant times and dates, um, you know, and maybe springtime is just significant to you. Maybe that's your birthday, their birthday being Taurus, of heavy on the board there. Or maybe your birthday is in July. Maybe, you know, the 4th of July it has some form of significance to you. But if, like I said, if your Independence Day is a different, is other than the 4th of July, go with that date, okay? And that's what I have for you. Please consider to like, comment, and let me know how this resonates for you in the comments below. Um, I greatly appreciate that. And that's what I have for you. Bye. Okay, pile number three. If this is your pile, the smell after rain. Well, it depends on what time of year it is because rain here tends to drill up those um, earthworms. So you could be dealing with an earth energy. Uh, they could also be a very sensitive person. And this could be a person where maybe you had a storm with them. So it could be somebody that you've already known. But it also could be somebody that you meet um, after a storm has occurred, okay? Maybe during the springtime. Um, let's see. Tell me about pile number three's soulmate. Tell me the truth about pile number three's soulmate. All right. Hey, they could fall under the sign of Leo. They're very courageous, but they also practice restraint. They're powerful individual. Could meet them during Leo season, or they fall under the sign of Leo. They could be big and burly by nature. They could have a tattoo of a lion or tiger or panther or something. It's something in the cat family. Okay, big cat family. They also may have a tattoo of an infinity sign. Okay, let's see. We have the 10 of coins. This is a person that is commitment oriented. They are family oriented and they are stable, grounded, and you know, they have it going on. I'm not gonna say that they're rich and wealthy, but they're not, uh, you know, they're not hungry for money. However, they are all about being generous. So this is a generous person. They could have recently sent you a letter um, in some way, shape or form where they sent you a message or maybe the message is coming in soon. This person could also have a puppy like a younger puppy. We have the Knight of Coins. So we're talking about Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. Um, very powerful, persistent, and dependable people. Uh, you know, they are, they enjoy work. They're very consistent. Um, they're workhorses. Let's see. They're loyal and generous so let's see this could be a business person maybe they play the stock market or they could be a broker or something a businessman an accountant they may deal in finance all right so we have 22 this is the stairway to light so they've already come full circle and began a new chapter in their life and they are taking steps um, into that next chapter, but it's not brand new to them. It's like they've been, they've already been around the world. This could be a, a well-traveled person as well, but whatever it was, uh, when it comes to 
closing out in the old and beginning something new they've already been on this path for a while and they're they're ready they're climbing the ladder so to speak let's see we have the two of coins again with that infinity sign i feel like it's going to be something great i that could also indicate like eight ball lucky 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 maybe this is a person that likes to play pool they are well balanced they're good like i said they're good earners and they like to, they like to be coupled up this is a person that's on a spiritual path they're mature i'd say in their 30s and plus we have the five of wands so this is a person that may have a lot of drama surrounding them and that's why they stepped away um be from a situation where maybe they were combative or something they like to win they could have had some conflict in their life let's see they're competitive by nature so they may be a competitor and they are the one we have the emperor energy could be the that they fall under the sign of aries but this is divine masculine energy this is a, a boss energy they could be a business owner they could also be your boss <laughs> you could met, have met them at work but there it could create conflict so they're like you know um have haven't come forward yet uh this could be a married person uh that recently has closed out a marriage i feel like it not a married person a person who has already finalized a divorce and they're just ready to move on with their life they're tired of the drama and their work life is a bit hectic it moves very quickly they have a lot of responsibilities they are in a higher position they could be a ceo like i said they could deal in in the stock market and give advice or a financial advisor of some way shape or form they also could be the like running a family business and family and family and business are very important aspects to this person they if you have a tattoo of either like you know an infinity symbol or uh lions tigers <laughs> something like that uh, they would be very attracted to that and drawn to you um let's see they could wear glasses they and be a smoker and they have high levels of stress in their life but they manage it really really well please tell me the energy surrounding the soulmate of pile number three what is the energy of the soulmate surrounding pile number three yeah, see, they have been a part of a storm and chaos where there was a lot of emotions shed, but they, they are not there anymore, right? It's after the fact. Now they're chasing the light, right? They're, they're, uh, they've already began the next chapter. And, it's, and they come with love. Like we have, there's a dove here. So that symbolizes uh, a dove. I also see that this person, they, they may not have, a, they may be lacking a parent that they could have lost, you know, who has already passed away. It could be either parent. Let's see. And that person, they have somebody in spirit that travels with them. So I feel like they feel that person around. Like it, it, once you get to know this person, they'll probably start talking about that it's like the stairway to heaven type of energy um where they allowed the guiding light of an ancestor i feel it's a parent that has passed away and they'll they'll let you know that they feel the presence of that person that has passed with them but they come with like love this person is all about love family honor relationships and they like husband boss material your chance has come they're coming 
And look, it's a raven spirit. So I feel like an ancestor is actually like ushering them into a relationship, um, into this soulmate energy with you. Now, let me see if I can get some significant time here. This is, I told you they are a risk taker. Um, they may take financial risks and win, but this is a risk. Uh, somebody who likes to take chance, you know, um, not risky behavior, but, you know, the they are not afraid to take a leap of faith and take risks in their life. It's a person that likes to indulge in food. They may have a heck of an appetite. Like, um, like food is important to them and they enjoy it. We have Father's Day that represents June, but this could be significant to them if they have lost their father and spirit. Um, divine timing is at play with the emperor energy there. Um, so I do, I do feel that this is, this is someone that is being ushered in by someone in spirit. They may enjoy, they may honor their father, uh, during Father's Day, even if they're not, their father is no longer with them. They too could be a father themselves, already have, have a child. February. Just around the corner, just around the corner. So it, it looks like something's going to spark off for you um, during February. And for others, it'll be during the month of June is a significant time. Uh, let's just pull one more. And August for somebody else. August could be your birthday. Your birthday could also fall in February or theirs. Uh, February and August. August being Leo energy, and then we have Taurian energy. So this could be, you know, and we have June, the month of June, we have February, we have August and Leo season. So it, it's going to be different for everyone, but that's what I have for pile number three with when and where and who your soulmate is. Please consider to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let me know in the comments below if any of this resonates with you. Bye.